Yo, what up YouTube, it's Seal here. I've gotten quite a few requests on how to whip here in MX Bikes, so I'm gonna do my best to give you all the rundown on how to squeeze the steez out of this game, eh? But, uh, before we do anything, I'm gonna quickly go over the settings I use, if any of y'all are interested in copying them. Alrighty, so here they are. I'm pretty sure these are just copied off of Linz, to be honest. Might be a few changes here and there, but I'm just gonna go over them quick. Not gonna really explain in detail what any of them really do, because I don't really know, but you want to copy them, here they are, and uh, yeah, back to the whips. So there's a couple things you want to keep in mind when you're doing a whip. You got the face of the jump, your air time, and the landing. What matters most is definitely what you're doing off the face of that jump. If you're going for an oppo, you're going to want to be getting low and sitting down a lot sooner on the face of that jump compared to your classic whipper scrub, as you can see here. But before getting into oppos, you got to master the classic whip and scrub. Yo, like before you start whipping, like, get comfy on that jump, you know what I'm saying? So let's talk about what matters most to you, which is what's going on off the face of that jump. So I whip by standing up and slightly leaning forward as you approach the jump. You want to be stood up and leaning slightly forward until you're about halfway from the top of the takeoff. Then you want to turn into the jump and fully crank your lean stick in the direction you're whipping. Right before you're about one bike length from the top, then you want to sit down, lean back, keep leaning in the direction of your whip. And this is going to give you that crazy whip angle. And once you're in the air, stand back up once you reach the whip angle that you want, otherwise you're probably going to backflip or 360. So basically right after you sit down, toss the whip, stand back up, lean and turn fully in the opposite direction to bring the whip back. As you land, sit down to balance your bike and absorb the impact. Now I realize I may not be great at explaining myself, but the air physics in the game really come down to how much you experiment and play with them. I've been playing this game since it came out around four years ago, and this game's changed every single year. And honestly, I think the division of the game is easily my least favorite for its air physics. You know, sure those whips were kinda cool, but I mean check out what the whips used to be like in this game. So yeah, all those whoops you just saw were literally just made impossible by the modern community. Anyway, I still find the game enjoyable, but if you ever see me posting clips with super sick whips, chances are it's it's not the same bikes. It's an FYI for anyone buying the game. But yeah, hope you got something out of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Subscribe for more. Go check out some of my other videos. And stay steezy, boys.